power. Ooh. What's up? It's Eric. I'm in the studio here with the new Team Corrali a 4S Skeeter. This thing looks uh, really sweet. Can't wait to try it out. Uh, for a 4S uh, platform, this thing is built like a tank. It's basically all eight scale components, all packed into a little 4S package. I want to give a big shout out to a Dan from Chicago Land RC. You guys check out his website, ChicagolandRC.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, he's got 10% uh, off if you use the Coach Chicago 10. Uh, free shipping. He's got all the Corrali models. Uh, different models as well, uh, different brands, and all kinds of parts and tires. There's tons of unboxings on YouTube that go over all the little minor details of the truck. I just want to go over a few things that stick out to me. But again, this thing is super beefy for, for a 4S truck. The tires look really sweet. Uh, they got a nice firm foam in them. They are a 17 millimeter hex, which is really sweet, so you can try out all kinds of different tire options. As you can see, Team Corelli definitely did not skip out on the bracing in this truck. I mean, it's got all the all the bracing in all the right places. Everything is super thick. Again, this is all eight scale components. It's basically all the same components of the uh, Kronos and the eight scale models, but it's uh, packed into a 4S uh, chassis. It's got the Curon 725 motor, which is a 2150 kV, I believe with a 135 amp ESC, 4S capable. I'm really digging the bracing in this truck. It's got this uh, tower braces right here in the back and in the front that hook to a tower to tower brace, which connects in the center right here at the center tower. I mean, super thick aluminum. I really love it. it has this nice tower support up here. So it's got this nice foam pad to support the body. It's got a nice aluminum servo horn right here, all steel dog bones and drive shafts and spring steel out drive cups. The shocks on this thing are super thick, again, for the platform. 16 millimeter shocks with three millimeter shafts and super thick rod ends. The shocks feel okay right now. It's a little, little stiff and springy, but we'll just have to see how it does out bashing. Uh, we may try the M2C pistons in this thing to really dial in the suspension. It has an aluminum chassis, which is really sweet. And I really love these uh, washers right here. They got on the uh, uh, super thick skid plates that kind of help keeping the screws from pulling through. This wheelie bar is really sweet. I love how it's adjustable. I got it adjusted down uh, to a second from the last hole to hopefully keep this thing on her feet, uh, keep her from wheeling up too much. I like to hold down power in my rigs, so that's a really cool option. I really like how this battery tray is lifted from the chassis and it's got little vents in there, maybe kind of hard to see in this camera, to kind of help keep your pack cool, get a little bit of airflow under it. You got nice steel turnbuckles with super beefy rod ends in the back and in the front steering links. You also have front and rear sway bars, which is really cool to uh, hone in on the handling of the truck. As far as the radio, it's got the CT2R radio. The remote feels really nice. Uh, it's got a nice foam wheel on it, nice spring action. The throttle feels okay. It's got a nice nice tension to it. I did go ahead and tune the truck a little bit before the first run. I threw in a, a 16 tooth pinion, stock is 13, and I switched out the center diff fluid to uh, 200,000 from the uh, virtually nothing that it had in it stock. I saw a few videos of the truck already and the guys were saying it's lacking some air control, so I wanted to go ahead and make those couple adjustments. We'll see how she handles and go from there. Here's a quick size comparison next to the Arma Big Rock 3S. As you guys can see, it's basically the same wheelbase. Uh, of course, I run all my 3S trucks on 4S. Here's a comparison next to the Arma Vortex 3S. As you can see, the Skeeter is quite a bit longer. And up against the Arma Outcast, as you can see, it's just about the same length uh, chassis as the Outcast. It's just a little bit more narrow. Can't wait to give this truck a run. Again, I'm super impressed by the overall build quality of the truck. We'll just see how she holds up out on the bash field. And uh, you guys check out Chicago Land RC for some killer deals. I'll put a link in the description. Again, it's a Chicago 10 for 10% off uh, site-wide and uh, free shipping. All right, guys, I'll see what's up. All right, guys, got the Skeeter out for a maiden voyage. I did go ahead and up the punch to, on the ESC to punch five, which is max punch. Again, I'm running 200,000 in the center diff with a 16 tooth pinion. And real quick, I want to give a huge shout out to a Sokokan Lipos again for sending out these packs to try. This is the uh, 4S pack 5500 milliamp 120C. It's a hard case. It ought to pack a lot of punch being 120C. I really love the uh, 6S packs. That's all I've been running in my 6S trucks here lately. Uh, super powerful batteries and, and the uh, cells uh, seem to hold up. <laughs> Hey guys, she seems pretty quick with the 16 tooth. I still feel like I don't have quite enough throttle. I may have to uh, try an 18 tooth. 
if the electronics will take it without overheating. Putting that uh, chassis to the test. Oh! Oh! <laughs> There's a durability test. Didn't get that second rotation in. It's definitely gonna need some a uh, little bit bigger tires. I uh, got first little damage here. Looks like we broke the uh, rod end on this uh, steering link. No big deal. It's a pretty harsh landing. All right, guys, I threw on some Proline Badland 3.8s, the regular Badlands. I'm going to try those out. You guys can see it is a little bit taller tire, a little bit bigger in diameter. So hopefully I'll have a little bit better uh, rotation in the air and a little bit more speed as well. Oh, yeah, much better. That was close. Yeah, guys, these body pins keep keep popping off at every landing. They're pretty thin, so I'm gonna have to put some uh, thicker, some thicker body pins in it. Yeah, guys, these badlands are the ticket on this truck. Power. Ooh. Man, she glitched out in the air, had no had no throttle whatsoever. There for a second. Try to do a front flip, recover it, no power. Oh, that was close. <laughs> just barely landed that thing goes a little bit rear end heavy so far guys this truck seems to be taking a pretty good beating chassis chassis still seems to be pretty straight got a couple of nicks in it other than that rod end on the uh, steering link that busted right there uh, but i just uh, stuck an arma link on here just for a quick replacement until i can get some more in but other than that this thing's holding up really well Oh! <laughs> Guys, this thing's taking a pretty good beating out here. Right, guys that's gonna be it for the first uh test run of this skeeter nice kind of get her out in the dirt see how she handles uh these uh 3.8 badlands are definitely the ticket for this truck in my opinion the stock tires just don't have a lot of rotation they're really stiff maybe fine if you're on like a 6s system which i may go 6s in this truck just to try it out i just i still feel like it's underpowered uh even gearing up like i did it's a really fun truck for sure and super tough uh, i've had minimal brakes i did break the uh steering link up here 
and this uh, front bumper is kind of kind of pulling off right here looks like the screw pulled through right there so uh, just a couple little minor things overall the chassis still looks good could be kind of hard to see in the camera but it's still fine uh, the skid plates are still intact the arms are still good the m2c universal hexes will fit right on here i've already tried it to give it an extra 10 millimeters of width altogether so i'm definitely going to try that on the uh, next run and i make a few tweaks but again a huge shout out to a dan from chicago land rc you guys check out his website again it's 10 percent off uh, free shipping use the code chicago 10 and you'll uh, save some money so it's a lot of fun we'll get out again soon with the old skeeter and uh, until next time our 81 peace out